Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk around a Lamar UT07. It's a 7,000 pound GVW, and we option brakes on both axles. Shown here would be a 77 inch by 14 foot, also commonly sold in a 16 foot. And then we also offer it in what we call a deluxe model, which would come into 14, 16. We sell a lot in an 18 and we can go longer as well. So we're gonna take a walk around this guy and show you why it's an exceptional value. We sell a lot of this particular model. Uh, there's a lot of standard features for the money. These retail in the neighborhood of $2,000 currently. So up front, we've got a standard stamp coupler. Okay, it's got the setback jack. So you'll notice a lot of jacks are generally up front where we put the, uh, the seven pin plug. This one's set back, that's to protect your pickup truck gate. Uh, it does a few things, but pickup truck gate keep from uh, hitting that would be the most common. Okay, notice the blue harness. That's not only a sealed harness, that's a cold weather rated harness. It'll stay flexible down to negative temperatures. So again, the sealed harness is certainly nice. Cold weather harness uh, just keeps you from fighting it whenever it's cold out. Folks, this has a four inch channel tongue. Two things we like about it. One, it's channel. Some we see now using a uh, fabricated steel, which would be a little bit lighter. But then this is also a full wrap tongue. So if you take a look, this tongue actually wraps the whole way back to the spring hanger. I think you're gonna find a fair amount of your utilities, especially at this price point, they're gonna stop the tongue generally around the first cross member, okay? A couple of the other features you just saw would be the uh, bullet LED lights, the pin striping that goes down the length of the trailer, and then also stake pocket tie downs. Now some of these they put a few more on, on a 14 footer there's four standard uh, stake pockets one in front and one behind the fender on either side lamar does powder coat their trailers uh, they do a steel prep before the uh the powder okay these come standard black in color we also do a lot of these in charcoal generally the black units we do with the silver mod wheels as shown here and then the charcoal units we do with the black wheels standard be a two by eight pressure treated pine deck angle wire and floor cross members okay we do this one in a 77 for two reasons a lot of manufacturers don't make a 77 we find it handy for an average guy that doesn't do a lot of towing wants to stay within the width of his vehicle or close to the width some guys just don't need that extra couple inches six inches doesn't sound like a lot but when you pull it behind you and you're in a tight place sometimes uh, being a little narrower like this is handy and it also saves you a couple dollars not a tremendous amount about a hundred dollars but for a guy on a budget uh, we like this particular model again it's, it's different than a lot of what's out there and you can still fit most most things the average guy be looking to haul okay radial tires are standard dexter axles brakes on both axles it's got the uh, easy lube hubs okay it's got a fender prop that's going to give some support to that fender if somebody sits on it or Puts, uh, put something on there they probably shouldn't have on there. That'll give some extra support. Okay, there's your rear stake pocket. Okay, this being our standard model does have standard angle iron top rail, as well as your angle iron uprights. And as is the industry standard, and most times it's got the two by three angle iron mainframe. Rear gate on this pretty simple deployment. Simply pull the handle up. Okay, if you need to take the gate off, pretty straightforward. It's got a standard nut in the end, nut and bolt pull off. Uh, it's got your uh, sealed beam LED lights, it's got your bullet lights in the middle. They don't specifically put a weight rating on this gate, but folks, it is an angle iron gate. We also stock our deluxe model with a tube gate. Uh, if I had to put a weight rating on angle iron, I would say most things like your UTVs, golf carts, garden tractors would be great fit. Uh, a box tube gate would be more ideal for the compact tractors and, and your heavier items. Now some people will say, well, this thing only weighs 1,700 pounds and it's a 7,000 GVW, why can't I put my tractor up there? Well, there's these things that I like to refer to as limiting factors and that gate is your limiting factor. It just isn't designed for that kind of weight. So while it can handle 5,300 pound plus legally, uh, the gate can't take that amount of weight again if you've got something that weight you would want to consider going to our deluxe model with the box tube gate give you a good shot of the trailer 
Again, very common for us, 14 and 16, very common uh, sizes. So again, it does weigh about 1,700 pounds empty, give or take. It's pullable by most uh, most anything down to an SUV. Uh, a mid-size SUV certainly can handle uh, this particular trailer. My name's Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Do you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers? Give us a ring at 717-220-4. 220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.